YouTube. Well, here's an update. Here's a little shot of the tank. I just took, I just uh, tested the water, right? Took some samples, and um, here are my results. And um, this is an update on the vodka dosing. I know I did some updates before. I had to erase those videos. They, I mean, I I come home from work. I'm a little bit tired, like I am right now, and um, I don't get into any details. Um, I left the chart in my last video. I hope it was helpful, but this little bottle right here took my nitrate from 40, almost heading to 80, and this was with uh, weekly water changes and, uh, well, people, as you know, we got to feed our fish, we got to feed our coral, so I didn't overfeed, I only felt fed in, like, in the morning and at night. I shut off pumps, filters, and everything, and, um, you know, uh, so anyway, you guys know the, the, the feeding, your feeding schedule, and what works for you and your fish, but um, this tiny bottle, which cost me $2.99 at ABC Liquor Store, all right, 40% and 80 proof, all right, and I'm up to, I, I'm working on week four, which is 4.4 mil, as you can see on that syringe, um, so yeah, as you, here it goes, here goes the proof, zero on the phosphates, zero on my <laughs> number one enemy, nitrate, my calcium, um, I'm happy with it, it's at 420 parts per million, my cage, I like it at nine, but she's at 12, she was kind of, uh, actually, I went up to, uh, like 15, uh, I lowered my doses, I think I was, Dosing a little bit too much, I, I miscalculated, but anyway, problem fixed. And uh, my nitrate, zero. My ammonia, zero. And all thanks to carbon dosing. Um, guys, it works. I've struggled with, I think I spent more money on water changes. And um, I haven't gotten my RODI unit running as of yet. I need some stuff that I got to gather together, but... That's no hint there. I have a buddy of mine who called me and um, he said they sold him some, a bottle of I don't know what for $20. He said that it helped him lower the nitrates. But mind you, he has my old tank, which is 125 gallon. And it, this bottle, they sold him for $20. If I'm not mistaken, it was 8 to 16 ounces. And this right here, I paid $2.99. All right, this is 200 mil. I went through half a bottle. Bang. Nitrate's gone. Now, also, uh, keep in mind that this does cause a cyanobacteria. And I was doing a little bit of research. Guys, we're always learning in this hobby. And I guess if you're into this hobby, this is what keeps you interested. Because this hobby, you don't stop learning. You just... I, I, I see new and different tactics and everybody, I, I try to keep up, but wow. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff out there. I'm thinking about getting another tank and putting it over here. I'm going to uh, sell this uh, pub table, which it's nice and everything, but nobody, we don't use it. So anywho, back to this, uh, I, I'm happy with 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 the results and you know some of my corals were like dying off and and they weren't doing too hot uh and now they're, they're doing much better everything is the, even the colors are starting to pop but yeah no back to cyano cyanobacteria it comes in somewhat i guess different forms i had some it they look it looks like uh all right uh uh um uh stringy mucus snot I can't, that's nasty, but that, I guess that's, you know, one of the ways that, and, 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 um, when I did maintenance on my canister filter, there was, uh, a, a, a hideous, nasty amount that was, um, uh, caught up in the, the coarse sponge. Oh man, listen, it's, it's beyond gross. I, I had to literally, 
uh, rinse two 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 trays of my bio media, which I uh, you know I wasn't too worried because I have four trays that is loaded with bio media, and I guess the other two trays was re uh, seed, you know the bio media, uh, but this it, it was <laughs> it was like the largest loogie in the world. I mean it was just bigger than my hand. It was like literally and it just like snot but that that's one of the crazy things that you have to work with um there's no big deal again the fish see them they're healthy they're colorful they're happy they're not breathing heavy they're eating well uh the water quality is beautiful and i'm happy with it uh knock on wood i hope it stays that way i'll keep vodka dosing so basically this whole vodka dosing deal, I'll give you a brief. So here, I showed you the chart before, but this is how it works. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little beta. This guy's a trooper. Um, so over here, we have weeks one through weeks 16. This is for you, those of you who don't know about carbon dosing. Well... Once this from my, my tank is a 25 gallon, I got a minus two gallons, right? Um, so once I hit 15.4 milliliters on my last uh seven days of dosing that amount, um, I will break this, divide this number in half, and that'll be my daily dose for the life of the tank. Now, take in mind. I seen a huge bottle of vodka, um, 40 by volume and 80 proof, whatever, uh, at BJ's for 10 bucks and was a gigantic behemoth bottle. I mean, you're, you're, you're dosing small amounts. You're not, you know, so this bottle will last you forever. I have a buddy of mine who I, I, I put onto this and he hooked it up to his, uh, Jebo, uh, the, the doser which is a pretty good machine by the way um dosing machine pump um i i recommend that i'm about to get one later on because what i want to do is but anywho he hooked up his doser to the vodka bottle and measured the mills and now his nitrates are gone so that's pretty awesome um i have this pump from jebo and um, it, it's it kind of slowed down on its performance and whatnot. I dipped it in vinegar water for about three days. Scrubbed it out, guys. The, the power came right back. So the brand is, you know, hey, listen. And, and, it, and it's lasted me already like five or six months. If it lasts me a year and a half or two and it breaks, I mean, it's not a vortex. I'm not, you know, it's not going to hurt me in the pocket. Now, what I want to do with that doser, I want to put it right here in the middle and right next to there so it could be exposed and people could actually see it. Right here when I put my tank, my other tank, which is a Solana, if I can get my hands on it, uh, keeping my shoelaces crossed for that one. It'll be a slow project, but I'll put uh, two bottles of calcium on the left. Uh, I'm, yeah, one on the left, one on the right, and elk, one on the left, one on the right. And... Uh, you get the picture, right? I'll split the line, but I want it to be visible so that uh, when people come over and, you know, they see it, it's, you know, I don't know. To me, it looks pretty interesting. That's why I left the current USA controller out there. I was going to sell this lighting unit, but you know what? It's doing really well for me and it's low energy consumption. And that's, I guess, everything is basically, uh, you know, you're saving, saving money, man. Um, my Montipora is starting to come back. He was doing really bad. So I, that spot next to the mushrooms, I hope the mushrooms don't start like tearing them up. And uh, my hammer corals, I don't know. Uh, they started closing up. They were much more open than that. But then again, the lights just came on. Um, everything seems to be doing okay, guys. My favia, um, the, the skeleton was exposed a little bit. But then again, I just got this guy. I got the lights on acclimation mode. Uh, so I hope he doesn't like kill over on me and I, I see I started this. I found one little of those pests. Uh, my God, I'm so tired. I can't even think, but, um, 
Yeah, so I got to get some Aptasia. There you go, Aptasia X. There's a little guy right there, and before he spreads like a plague, I got to kill him off. Um, my zoos, this guy attached himself to that rock. And those zoos, I don't like them too much, but they're growing, whatever. And well, I'm going to stop yapping now, guys. Um, I guess because I'm tired, I'm just rambling on. Vodka dosing is cheap. Um, just take your time. You need some patience. Continue your water changes. Um, I switch back to once every two weeks because weekly it, it was causing too much of a. It was throwing my uh, tank off and it, it just my my skimmer was going haywall. Uh, I was doing and and also I try to do like ten gallon water changes. No, not good. Not for me. Um, that was almost like. Almost like half the tank and my skimmer again. I had to call the company because I thought it was malfunctioning. It wasn't malfunctioning. I just basically, it, you know, shocked the skimmer. It was going through a, a, like a re-breaking period type situation. So I had to elevate it yay high. So I had to somehow rig it and uh, let it run its course and watch it for like four hours. Don't want to do that again, guys. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, subscribe. Um, and, and, and any advice that you guys have for me, please, by all means, I'm, I, I, I've been in this hobby for 12 years and I feel like every day I've read books. I've read, I mean, I've seen everybody on YouTube. I listen, I, uh, it's a never ending, uh, hobby. And, um, I, I'll see you guys later. Take care.